M0 FXP, welcome back to the channel. Uniden SDS 200, I've got the EU model. Let's load the latest Sentinel and update the firmware. So this is the link for the EU. Go to this section here and it says version 2.05 revision three. So we're gonna hit download like so. Download that up here. I think we've already downloaded it anyway, which is here and then double click and then run the XE da, 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 and it will open up. Just go start and look for the this one here. You want the 200 or the 100 It's the same thing. So there's our software and we may as well read from the scanner read from the scanner. Now we are going to need to plug in our lead. I've got a little converter there that takes it to USB C which is very handy. So when you plug it in it will give you the option to press the E button, effectively putting it into SD card mode. So there you are, press E, writing to SD card. So now it's like a giant SD card because everything you do with these Uniden scanners works via the SD card. So now we'll just go refresh and it should detect it. There it is there. And then we're going to click OK. Reading from the scanner, it will read. You can add a preset or load up an old one. I'll leave the old one for now. Click OK. I'm going to skip it for now. I don't really want to change anything that I've got on there at the moment. Click OK. So that's it. We've read up here on the left is all our favorites, basically groups of channels that we have saved to our scanner. So to update the firmware, you've got the latest Sentinel. So all you need to do now is go update. Now, when you load the Sentinel software, it might update everything for you anyway. Yeah, it will load up and it will open the software and then it will go, oh, I'm going to update. And that's not the firmware. That's just the software. And so now you want to go update firmware. There's the SDS 200. Click OK, and if it needs it, it's going to do it, and it's going to say to you, I'm doing it, and at the end of it, I'm done. Or it will say, you're already running the latest version. You don't need to. But I know that we need to, because I've done my Uniden SDS 100, but I haven't done the 200. So, so now it's saying, finish writing the scanner. After you disconnect the USB cable, the firmware update will begin. So I'm going to go OK, and I'm going to un unplug like it just told me to. And it's going to updating the sub CPU. Do not turn off the power while updating. Now they added, they just, they fixed a couple of bugs on the waterfall. I'll show you the waterfall. I think there was in certain modes, certain things weren't working quite right. Although as far as I can see, the waterfall was working brilliant, even on DMR. Um, but anyway, let it update. It's nice to know we've got the latest version 3, 2.05 is it? And we're going to go into the settings now as it loads the favorites, ETC. Oh, we've got a bit radio one there. So we'll just go to menu, push the, this button here, turn the function one click backwards, then press it and go to C scanner info and then down one. And there's our firmware there. So I said the completely wrong number, 1.2309, 1.03 subversion. Uh, so that's great. And if we go back to scanning, pressing the flat one and then let's have a look at the waterfall we can go menu then click back three times press function I meant and then enter and the waterfall will start we'll go four three four five oh I always forget the dot five five zero enter oh I must have typed that wrong so it's just two dots twice four Let's try our DMR one, three one dot five five zero. And it does do DMR very well. Anyone that says that it doesn't is wrong. Right. But there's no activity, which is a shame. Uh, let's do my node then. So we'll go enter full. Press enter again. Oh, actually we're doing this completely wrong. You press hold. Then you go four, three, four dot five five zero then press hold again and there it is okay so let's do waterfall I'll go menu enter enter mm, I, th I thought that would show the waterfall frequency that I put in anyway, 
it's there now. No activity, how annoying. Let me see if I can blip up my my node. Don't know if we got it here somewhere. Two, da, 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 da. Definitely get yourself a hubnet node. I use that all the time. M7 ah. I'll just show you it anyway. You'll like that. That's my node, and I can change to these different places in the country. This is analog, not DMR. I, I do have a DMR hotspot here. H U B N E T connected to M zero F X B. Let's find my DMR hotspot because it's just not very busy on the old DMR front. So I wonder why. So I'll go to my hotspot. I'm finding out the IP address using my router search and the IP address is not 105 it's 108 zero 08 enter there it is there and I look at that it's silent so it needs a reboot so you just go configuration power reboot and hopefully when it reboots the uh, the DMR will come to life we need to change the frequency so you just go four three one dot five five zero and then no we're doing this we're actually doing it wrong again so menu and then we'll end we will end the video eventually i'm i'm enjoying tinkering so enter no so it's four Three, one, dot. Do I have to press hold first? There it is. Seeing there's any activity. This is Victor, uniform number two, four, ten, twelve. We have activity. That's DMR. I'm going to turn on the SDS 100 as well, just for fun. And then we will end the video. Well, it's gone quiet now, it's a shame. Echo Echo Close calls Echo. working on that one. And we have a we have a waterfall on this one as well. Eco Hotel Mike, this is Victor Uniform number two Eco Hotel Bravo from India. You are five by nine. There you go. On both uh, now. Over to you. Yes, DMR works. Uh, Bye for now.